Turns out there's a crazy money cheat you can abuse in Cyberpunk 1.3. And no, this time it's not the infamous Sasquatch glitch. This money cheat is so much faster than the Sasquatch glitch. It makes doing that one look like some kind of self-harm strategy. Not only that, but this infinite money cheat can be done at any point in the game. It's not story locked, although it's much easier to do after you finish the heist. This new money cheat not only makes upwards of 10 million euro dollars per hour, it also will level your crafting at the same time. Not only that, there's a variant of this method that doesn't make money, which will get your crafting to level 20 in around 30 minutes. Before we get started, you have to make a decision about how high you want your crafting level to go. Crafting can't go higher than your technical ability. And while you don't need level 20 crafting to make decent money, if you want to make the big bucks, you'll need level 20 technical ability, so you can get all the way to crafting level 20. Now, hopefully you've made your decision, and with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is get our character level up. You have to hit level 30 to start making money with this method, and ideally, you'll want to be level 50 so you can have the biggest profit margins. If you need help leveling, check out my 1.3 leveling exploit video. I'll link it after the first paragraph of the description if you need it. Now that you're at least level 30, head to this junk shop in the middle of nowhere near the Las Palapas Motel Fast Travel. This is the best junk shop in the game because he doesn't talk every time before dealing with him and you can skip time while standing right in front of him. Go ahead and buy up all his common, uncommon, rare, and epic item components. Now, exit and go to your inventory. On the left, go to crafting and craft the highest quality sniper rifle, jacket, or shotgun that you can make. Any of these three types of items should craft for more money than you spend, assuming you're at least level 30 character level and ideally level 50. Now that you have some items to sell, go to the junk shop and sell the items you made to get your money back. Now, back out, skip 24 hours, open the shop back up, buy all the relevant components, and selling the items you crafted to get your money back. When you need more items, go craft them. Keep doing this until you're crafting level nine. At crafting level nine, you unlock a bunch of rare crafting recipes to use. Open up the menu, go to character, go to technical ability, then crafting. In here, you'll need to buy the true craftsman perk so you can craft those rare items. Now, head back to the crafting menu and craft as many polycarbonate Western fringe vests as you want. If you don't want your crafting level to go higher than 17, then these will be the items that you will craft to make money. Buying the components for this vest, crafting the vests, and selling the vests will make you roughly 2 million euro dollars per hour, assuming you're buying the components in bulk, and then crafting and selling at a drop point later on. But what if you're willing to spend your precious attribute points on 20 technical ability points? Well, then a lot more options open up to you. Assuming you do want to be a crafter, Put 20 points into technical ability, then go to crafting and buy the Edge Runner Artisan perk on the right. This will let you craft legendary items. Now, make sure you have at least 11,000 euro dollars, then head on over to the Cannery Plaza Fast Travel in West Haywood. Just south of this fast travel is a clothing store. Run on over to the clothing store and check to see what they have. We're looking for a legendary crafting spec called the Silver Rock Bulletproof Laminate Biker Vest. The name might be slightly different for female V, I'm not entirely sure. The bottom line is you need a legendary outer torso armor crafting spec, and it'll be worth around the same amount. After you get your hands on a legendary outer torso crafting spec, head back to the junk shop near the Lost Palapas Motel Fast Travel. From now on, for every cycle, you'll be buying all his legendary, epic, and rare item components. You can buy the uncommon and common ones if you want, but they're not necessary anymore. Now, go to your inventory and craft a bunch of legendary outer torso armor. Afterwards, make cycles of buying all the components and then selling the armor you crafted to get your money back. Repeat this process as much as you possibly can stand to do. Once you have a crap ton of components, go to a drop point and craft the outer torso armor and sell it in bulk to the drop point. Sell until the drop point is out of money, then skip 24 hours and repeat. Doing this will earn you closer to 5 million euro dollars per hour. But don't worry, it doesn't end here. There are some upgrades we need to make. Then we can get significantly more Euro dollars per hour. Continue doing this until you have crafting level 20. One way you can speed up the crafting leveling process is to buy all components except the legendary upgrade components. Go to your crafting perks and buy tune-up perk at the bottom left. 
Then starting from uncommon components, upgrade your components to uncommon, rare, epic, then legendary. If you have the money to throw away doing it like this, you'll hit level 20 crafting extremely fast. If you came into this with money and immediately went for this method, you could hit level 20 crafting in close to 30 minutes. Once you have level 20 crafting, it's time to take a look at your perks. Since we can reset perks, let's go all in on the value of perks that will increase our income. Reset your perks to get all your skill points back. Now, buy X Nihilo, two points of cost optimization, Ed Runner Artisan, and then put any remaining perk points into Crazy Science, the perk unlocked with level 20 crafting. Every level of this perk will increase the sale price of your items by 1%. Once you have all your perks spent, you should now be closer to 10 million euro dollars per hour when crafting the legendary outer torso piece. If you want, you can go even further than this. Every skill that you level up unlocks more perk points for you to spend. On top of that, there are 10 perk shards scattered throughout the world to collect. Check the description of this video to find my video showing where they are. If you level up enough skills to level 20 and you get all the perk shards, you'll be able to put more than 100 perk points into crazy science. I haven't done it myself, but I, I would estimate you can make closer to 15 million euro dollars per hour if you go all out like that. Now, let's make sure you understand the process. We buy components until we're out of money or bored. And then we go to a drop point. Now, craft as many legendary outer torso pieces as you can stand to craft. With that out of the way, open the drop point, sell until the drop point is out of money, exit the menu, Open your main menu, skip 24 hours of time, reopen the drop point, sell more items, and repeat the process until you're burnt out on making infinite money. If you want to make the full 15 million euro dollars per hour, then after reaching crafting level 20, reset your perks, then buy the X and Helo perk, the Edge Runner Artisan perk, two points of cost optimization perk, and then put all remaining perk points into crazy science. If you have enough perk points available to you, then you can have more than 100 perk points in Crazy Science, which will increase your income significantly. Whenever you're done farming money, reset your perk points and put them back where you want them. Like I said earlier, you can start doing this around level 30, but you won't make good money until level 50. So make sure to do that first. If you already have money and only want to level crafting, then buy all the non-legendary components until you have thousands of them. Buy the tune-up crafting perk, then upgrade your components up to legendary. The infinite money cheat will get you as many euro dollars as you could possibly want. Just like how subscribing to this channel will get you all the cyberpunk glitches you could want. Now you know the new fastest way to get infinite money in cyberpunk 1.3. If I learn of a better way to farm money, I'll be sure to post a video about it.